Hello, welcome to the Sloan Zone. Today I wanted to talk to you about The Walking Dead, the game by Telltale Games. Uh, I'm not going to go into the details of you know how it's made or all the behind the scenes per se, uh, because the point of this channel is to talk about what's motivated me as a writer and what I've learned from as a writer. So, Walking Dead, the game, uh, kind of where Telltale Games got their big exposure. You know, that's how they got known by a lot of people out there. There were some awesome games before that, you know, Back to the Future, Jurassic Park, they did these, these games that are fun, but Walking Dead was what really kind of set them up as going forward, who they're going to be, and what we recognize as a Telltale game. Uh, I recommend that you play that, because you need to think about what kind of choices are going on in this game, you need to think about how the characters are displayed in this role-playing kind of context, and don't just look at it as, you know, what kind of big branching choices change the output of the game. Look at it as how all the little choices along the way change how characters look at you and think about you. So think about it when you're playing about how you're treating Clem, because in episode one, sorry, season one, you are Lee, who is taking this little girl along this journey to escape the zombie horde and all that, um, and you have to protect her, and that involves you know multiple people along the way who are maybe threatening your situation, maybe calling out the fact that you're not her dad. What are you doing there with her? And so how do you how do you interact with that? How do you resolve that situation and um, uh, like you know there's the big Doug Carly moment that you choose kind of who you're gonna take along with you and that changes the output but like I said I really think of this game more as in all these telltale games more about the choices along the way that change how people interact with you and so it's a role-playing experience and what's cool about that and why I bring it up from my writing is it kind of forces you to think about your protagonist in your novel or screenplay or video game <laughs> but let's say with the novel with the screenplay and really thinking about not just what is the protagonist doing, but what is the viewer thinking about what the protagonist is doing. So what kind of ownership do you have as a reader? When I'm, when I'm reading, let's say, Harry Potter, when I'm reading Harry Potter and I'm thinking, okay, um, Harry is going to you know, not trust Draco and then he's going to go spy on him. Well, I kind of want, if I'm writing that book, which obviously I'm not J.K. Rowling, but <laughs> if I'm writing that book, I want the reader to buy into that and kind of feel that they are Harry Potter in that moment, that they are the ones who are gonna go spy on Draco. And it's kind of this player ownership thing, or reader ownership, or reader agency, as the case may be. Um, so anyway, I think about that a lot when I'm writing. I want you to be buying into it. You, you as you might not do that, but you as Harry Potter would definitely do that. So something to think about. Uh, go check out The Walking Dead season one and season two. I, a lot of people kind of diss season two, but I love playing as Clementine. I think that's the the best of the two. Um, one of the best Telltale games, in my opinion, is season two Walking Dead. So see what you think. Uh, leave some comments. I know some people out there are going to disagree with me, but uh, yeah, t take care. Thank you.